This is the screen. Everything here, small, small. Everything here, big, small, most likely is contact switching. Okay, so this isn't so important. What's important here is that you can use this as just an interchange, quick release. Switch, if it's not contact, right? If it's loose, then we got, we got some problems now. Okay, now that's the first thing we want to create, this situation, okay? So when you get here, you're just going hard corner, okay? For guy, you are going, as this screen's up, you are looping around and going straight to the rim. Hard to the rim, keep on coming up. Now, you're gonna get up, yeah, you're gonna get your feet now, here, and top of the circle and top of the key on the split line, uh, maybe a little bit here. You gotta get into the rim, you understand? First into the rim, okay? okay? Now, as that's happening, you're coming right off of that, okay? So now this is small player with five guy, okay, with a big guy. And maybe they've switched this situation, doesn't matter. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come off that and I'm going straight hard to the corner. Hard corner. Okay? And I'm looking for a flat pass right to that spot. Okay? Now I've got to get ready. I've got to get here and I've got to get ready. You've got to get it away. It's got to be a catch and shoot. I think it's point. I was in a situation last year. It was like, I think it's, I think it's point. Ingrid, is it? Where's Ingrid? You know where? She's left me. Does it sit? Is it point? It's point seven, right? On the catch, catch and shoot. I had a situation point six in the finals in Austria last year. We ran this catch and shoot. <coughs> took it away. Took it away from us. We won the damn game, game two of the final series, and they took it away from us. And you know they didn't have the technology to look at the. And, and the problem was the board, that, the, the basket that we scored on. That basket didn't illuminate. The other one was functioning, and that one was not. And so it, was, it came down to a subject, and, they, and the commissioner is sitting at the table, the head referee, the commissioner is there, but the head referee makes the, makes the final decision. And he came over, and they, it was in their place. There's a lot of pressure in that situation, and they just gave him the game. But anyway, just crying over it still don't play. Um, so, so now we're looking for that flat pass over there. So let's take a look at that. Can I get your spots? <clears throat> so you can start. I like this movement here, I just like this little movement, or you can just have it be here, right? Okay, you just get a little, it's, you're just coming up, it's just a quick, and you're gone. Like, you really change your speed, and you're going off the crazy. you got to always <coughs> run that loop really quickly. So as soon as he comes, as soon as he comes, you're getting hit, you're going to the rim. So you got to move down there, right into the rim. That opens up the whole backside. Okay, now, so here we go. Now you're going off. So now, this is what happens. Even if there's a switch, even if there's a switch, okay, watch the back of my head. I can't see the ball coming. You're going straight corner. Even if I'm tight, if you throw the ball to that spot, I can't make a play of it because I'm, I'm fighting through this like crazy, right? If there's a switch here, if there's a switch here, right, okay, you got to you gotta get out, you got you to gotta lift like crazy, and you're going hard to the rim, and we've got a high target against a small defender. Okay? Everybody knew that this was running, and this is coming, and we always had a catch over there. Always had a catch over there in this situation. Okay? Okay, first look. You're just gonna run it, you're going to flat skip, you're getting three point shot. Catch and shoot. I'm in front of you, how are you going to make that pass? It's got to be, right? And, 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 and it may be, so two things will happen here, you know, most probably they're not like uptight because they're going to plug the first mover, right? I'm going to step back and plug the first mover. Okay, first guy coming, I'm just going to shadow a spot here around the three-point line. Okay, so most likely that's happened, but, you know, if somebody's up on you like this, you're never going to be able to make that pass from there. you got to get, got to get it here, and you can take one step back, right? A little bit of separation, and it's got to be a flat pass. It's got to be like, you know, that dead duck. You know, it's got to be flat and right on, right, right to the ten fingers. And then we're shooting the ball. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay, defense, here we go. 
9390. Okay. Three seconds left. Okay. Oh man, you gotta get another guy passing it there. <laughs> you 
get it there? Okay. okay. So you're going to go pivot, and I'm going outside rim. And it's the same thing. If, even with the switch, if it's to the spot, it's a switch back to the head here. As long as the backside of the defense is, is open there, we got an opportunity. we got a chance. we got a chance to get up there and, you know, either we, uh, a tip, or maybe we can come down with it if there's enough time. You know, if there's two seconds, yeah. But if there's one second, okay, under that, then it's just got to be like you got to make an adjustment and make a play up in the air, okay, to give ourselves a chance. But two parts, most importantly, so this action, one one thousand. And then, as soon as he comes off that shoulder, yeah, and don't banana on it. You get here, pivot, and you go boom, and you get up. And, and as soon as you, when he pivots, like as soon as he gets here, you, it's got, you got to throw it. Do you know what I mean? And he's got to locate it. He's got to find it up there and go get it, okay? So just try to think about that time. Just as he gets here and he pivots, you're throwing it a flat log to that spot, outside rim. Okay, okay here we go. First this part. Outside rim. Okay? Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it the bottom. Not to this side. Not to this side. Here we go. Uh, don't get so deep. Okay. Hey, defense, here we go. Hey, don't, so don't, don't switch, don't switch that. <laughs> hey, listen, and it's important, obviously, you're going through it, because you're scripting it five on zero like that, and then you go five on five. You know, just make sure, you know, defense, you know, they, they want to compete, they don't want to let this, but don't get underneath anybody's feet. You understand? Like the, when, when we're going through it and like rehearsing it, scripting it, you don't don't jump. The only guy that's is jumping is the guy, offensive player that's going for the the lock. Okay, so that we're not getting underneath and guys get hurt at the beginning. Okay, here we go. Woo! Oh, that's a good one. Good. Okay. So you know, so you've got this read. You got this read here. If they switch that, then you got your you know your best big guy. You know, get, you get him to touch right there. At least, if anything, you've got a, a catch and shoot over a small defender. You should get a, you know, a, a clean look at the shot. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. One more time. Here we go. Hey, get out there and jump for me. Get out there and jump. Dunk one. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Any 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 questions? Any questions about that one? Okay. Okay. Good. We'll move on. Uh, two three zone on the baseline. Okay. Defense you can stay on already. Okay. Uh, let's take our best shooter here. Keep the ball here. Okay. Uh, three man here. Oh my God. Here's my my three guy. Best shooter opposite. A two-three zone. Get three. If, if they're gonna go, if, if they're gonna go zone on this situation, it's always gonna be three along the base. So you, yeah, okay. And we go there. Okay, stack it up here. Get five. One, one. Come up. Head, head on the basket. Okay. Come over here. Go here. here. Stack it up here with the big. Just like one step up above. Block there. Okay, we're right there. Maybe a little bit more. Get tighter with him in the style. Get up close and personal. Okay. Okay. So, hey, first scan here. I call this. I call it gaps. I call it gaps. And and again, once you understand where the little gaps and windows are in this situation, then you can make your. Then then the players can. You gotta you gotta teach your players to see where those spots are. So here we're just trying to find an easy one. Team want to do this? Okay, we're looking for easy baskets, okay? The first thing here, your first scan, before the referee gets the ball, you are looking at this guy right here, this defender, stay up there, get there. You're looking at him right there. And if this guy here, okay, 
if he's, got, if he's doing one of these, if his back of his head is to you and he's not seeing the ball and seeing that situation, then whew, just sprint right to the corner. And that's just, as soon as he hands you the ball, that's the first read. Okay, and boom, we're right there. You get a shot right in the corner. An open look from three. Okay? That's the first look. Okay? Second look. So that, so that's a quick scan there. Man, why do you guys, why do you guys all chew your fingers over here, Andrew? Man, okay. Okay, so this, this guy, okay, his job is to find the center defender in the zone closest to the rim. Who is that? Okay. He's going to go get him. He's going to go get him with his shoulders square to that other basket. So he's just wide framed and keeps him in between here. And now, as that's happening, you are coming over as safety ball to this side. So we have a safety entry there. This look isn't here. And what you're looking for here is just this here. It's the tallest player. Athletic guy, and you're looking flat pass right there. If you see him in here like this, and you, your read on that one is, you know, defense can get compact, so they'll just force the safety out. But that's fine. That's okay. Hey, but if they don't want to get compact, they're going to do this, and they're going to stay out here, and you're there. There's no chance. There's no way that that pass can be stopped from going there. Now you just get it, and I look what you got. You got a little, little soft shot there, or you know, you can make maybe one dribble and get to the rim and. Okay. Okay. So that's the, that's the uh, the second three. So three point shot corner. Quick quick scan before the referee hands you the ball. And second read is this situation here. Something right at the rim. Okay. And and it may be depending on how these guys match up here. It may be that you can recognize what's going on in a game the next time. If he's going to come in there and play there, you can just turn there and you can come straight short corner. And you got a little shot right there. Okay? But we'll just focus on okay, that shot, this one, and then save people. Okay, so whatever your zone, so I would adapt this to what, whatever we're running in terms of our zone offense. So we'd have these, we'd have these, hey guys, guys, we'd have these looks and these options, and then we would have our continuity and our, we won't go into the a continuity, but you have your continuity and you can get into your continuity depending on how much time is left on the shot clock. Okay, 14 seconds, you gotta get you gotta get into something, some movement and some focus. Okay? Okay, go ahead, take a look at it. Yeah. players to, to play the same play if now uh, he's going to play many men, for example. Well, like I said, I think we, we have, like I think you should have man-to-man -man actions that you can adapt against the zone. So we have, we have those actions that we can, that we have. Um, but, I mean, players are going to, players need to make reads and need to know how to react in, in those situations. So they have to, do yeah. you work on it on, on practice? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. I think we got time for one more, one more situation. So, um, under two seconds, under two seconds on the baseline. Okay. Two seconds back on the baseline. Um, we go line. Defense, you can step off. Okay. Your most athletic guy here, third position. Go line, okay? Back it up. So, action, 
action guide is, is, is here. This is, the, this is the first option, okay, here. So on the break, ball's handed to the, the inbounder. And just as the ball's getting handed to him, against man, he's cutting hard, get tighter, step back. Boom. And you just move out quick. Okay, we have this movement. We're out. Now, you're taking one step and you're going, if he's if he's the best shooter, okay, right, then we get him to step and go hard, sprint to the corner, and you are coming hard here. Jim. And now what we what we have now, go ahead. Okay, so just make sure that you separate the cuts. The first one is the point guard. As soon as he as soon as he clears his, that first area and peels off that front part, then you got to go. Okay, so you just take the slow, explode, okay? Set, don't cut at the same time that way. So set, go, go, hard, hard. And if you take somebody with you, you're going hard here, okay? And now what happens is, now I'm left with the situation. Athletic, player, okay? And a good score. And now, Defense will be like this. And what you want to do, if you're playing defense, if I'm playing you, is I'm going to just, I'm going to walk him up and get